Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantify. This being a show where I talk about TV shows of the supernatural fantasy and or science fictional genre. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Once Upon a Time. A great episode. It's an episode where it's like, yeah, everything's working, everything's good, yeah, everything's great. But it turns out not so great, because obviously everyone learned about Rumple. The Dark One from the Wish Realm, Wish Realm being around. Which is interesting because obviously like you had Regina kind of being sad because she found out Facilier is dead. Which once again is kind of like, Facilier always made it clear like he wanted a dagger. But it's like maybe there was something between him and Regina. Maybe Regina could have had a happy ending with him. I mean, I don't know. There was the whole Zelina and Hades situation. So, I mean, granted, we see how that played out. So maybe things wouldn't have worked out with Facilier too. Once again, it's that situation of like, you know, you know with the way the show has kind of been playing out so far. So like you could tell they probably wanted to do more with things. But... Like I said, I've never looked into it. It's going to be something I'm going to look into this week. But whether they were going into the season, that was going to be the final season. It kind of feels like I was like halfway through the season. I was like, yeah, this is going to be the final season. So nevertheless, nitpicking, blah, 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 blah. Nevertheless. Um, so because part of me wonders, did he really have the best intentions when it came to Regina anyway? Is he really worth kind of being all hurt about it? The whole situation. But nevertheless, obviously, her and Facilia had a complicated relationship. Nevertheless, um, what I love the fact of the matter is that the Wish Realm turned into the same. Like, the Wish Realm was literally a one-episode thing last season. And it's so crazy that it's coming back full circle into the story in a big way like this. Because Wish Rumple has taken Ella and Lucy uh, from Henry. And it's like, oh, what you want? I want is the other side of the dagger. And it's something interesting I never thought about. And it's like... If Rumpel gets his way, he'll lose all of his powers. Basically, I guess, because all the darkness and all that represents him as the Dark One, I guess once the Guardian gets a hold of it, will destroy him as the, you know. Um, but that would affect Wish Rumpel, Rumpel, <laughs> Rumpel, Rumpel too, because I guess it is a situation of they are, even though they're different reality versions of themselves, like, they are still bound. Cause that's what I love about it. Even though they're wish people, don't think that they don't matter. They exist, and every and that's why the story is happening in the way it is because they aren't just like I say. Because it seemed like it was just kind of like a oh whatever happens, that's just kind of its own thing. It's like no, it comes up in a big way. I mean, you should have kind of expected when obviously wish uh, hook became like a main character in all of this. That should have been like the key sign to be like oh no, we're not completely done with the wish realm. So I thought that was kind of pretty neat. Because I like what it did, because for one, it's like Rumpel kind of having to face his past. Like, Rumpel has never had to confront his past in such a form. That's what this whole situation was about. Making Rumpel remember, like, how this all started with him being a coward and uh, messing up his own leg so he wouldn't have to fight in a war. And just one of his biggest regrets, because that one move set every his the rest of his life in motion to be where he is right now feeling like a coward feeling weak and pathetic and wanting power so he wouldn't have to feel like that so that his son wouldn't have to live in the life of a coward you know so but the sad situation is like this whole rumple thing like henry split at first because it's like he doesn't want to sacrifice rumple's happiness for his own happiness because it's like that's not fair because it's like the dagger is the only means rumple has of ever getting with bell so he doesn't want to take that away from him. but obviously he gets a little mad because henry's desperate it's like this is his family and it's like oh well who says you really get to deserve it but obviously henry doesn't really think that it's just he was lashing out because he was angry so i wonder because rumple was Rumpel brought up something that's kind of interesting. It's basically like you are pathetic because you never had Belle in your life. And now all because all you are is a beast, you know, because Belle gave him more, made him more than just a beast. So before he could do the finishing blow, uh, Regina shows up, which maybe that was kind of the right move because Rumpel was willing to sacrifice everything to make sure that uh, his family like that. The realms would be safe from this rumple. I guess in, in the grand scheme of things, would it have actually helped with the whole Ella and Lucy situation and being stuck in that snow globe? I don't know if it would have. It might have just made things worse. I mean, I think the reason why he went so to such an extent to do it anyway is to make sure, for one, his dagger doesn't get taken and also make sure that Henry gets his family back. So, you know. Because even Henry kind of was like, oh, how do we know that Rumple isn't just going to make his own deal or whatever? Because like I said, this all, like I said, it wasn't just Rumple. It also made um, Hook 
kind of confront his past too because they both had their little hideaway, their little, like, their shame because he had that little hideaway where he met up with Ariel, which, wow, was popping up familiar faces. Like, I knew it was going to pop up a little. I didn't expect to see some faces that we saw. Even, I, I just know it's going to, nevertheless, I'm, go, I'm going off on a huge tangent, so I do apologize. But it's like, Ariel, I'm like, yo! Um, which makes me wonder, how does he know Ariel in this world? I guess because... I mean, because things between him and Ariel weren't necessarily good, but I guess things worked out a little differently in the Wish Realm. So I guess they were on good terms. I mean, I guess she's one of the few people he was on good terms with. Maybe he, yeah, some selfish stuff he's probably done, but maybe he has done some non-selfish stuff during that time, too. So, because she's like, oh, wow, you look completely different because it's been years since they, it's interesting, too. It looks like Ariel actually has a trident, too. So I think she's probably like queen of Atlantis in this world. I would assume so. That's what that seems like to me. Did we ever meet her dad this series? I don't think we ever did. I think we always saw Ariel, but I don't think we ever saw her dad. Which also begs the question, that must mean she never got with Eric, too, now that I think about it. Because she's... Well, no, because even after meeting Eric, she was in a fi she had her fish form, too. Well, no, because that was the whole point. Like, God, it's been years since I saw... No, like, she had legs at the end of the Mer Little Mermaid, right? I don't know. The fact is that she has a trident makes me think, like, I don't know. Maybe the situation was she can come and go, like, if she wants. She wants to go into the water. She turns into a memory. She goes back to land. She turns back into a human. Maybe, maybe that's kind of what's being established. It's just kind of like, like, because I think the last time we met her in, like, the original, like, the other world's canon, like, the non-wish realm, like, she was a fish coming to help Hook. I think she was still fish. But, uh, like, obviously her and Eric found their happy, happily ever after type of situation. But the fact that she has to try to makes me think, like, she maybe that isn't the case in this world. Maybe it is. Because um, a lot of people in this world kind of have their happily ever after. But nevertheless, I'm going on a huge tangent. But um, it turns back, it turns out that this is all, isn't necessarily just about Rumpel. It's about Henry, which is interesting. It's like, wait, what? And then it's like, oh, man, um... Like, it talks about a prophecy that, like, I'd completely forgotten about. It's like, oh, the boy will be the end of you. And it's like, wait, what? I was like, that's interesting. I'd completely forgotten about that prophecy. That had to be, like, seasons ago that it popped up. But, like, that's what this is all about. And Henry, being desperate, goes, like, okay, the only thing that can help is the author pin. I was like, dude! Because I was, I figured this would be the time to start kicking in his abilities. Because, like, Henry has not used his abilities at all. Like I said, I think the last time his abilities came into play, it was, like, season, well, it was season six. They came out a little bit. But that was kind of, like, more, like, inadvertently. Like, his powers were kind of leaking out because of, like, the endings coming up and stuff like that. But um, I think season four was the last time. Because wasn't that when he actually got the powers himself, like, as an author? So... It's just kind of interesting. Like, I figured, like, that would, because that's a gift, that's an ability of his that hasn't really met, had much play. And it's like, of course, that's going to be a uh, ending factor for this. And it turns out that is the case. He decides to go get it himself um, and meets the, you know, uh, the author's apprentice. And it is kind of, I like the fact that he touched Henry's heart and basically saw everything. He's like, whoa. That, and he even said it himself, he's like, that is a complicated story. And he's like, yeah, when you look at this series as a whole, all the different connections, it's pretty damn complicated. I love that. And then it's, um, he kind of reminds Henry again, like, no matter what the circumstances may be, it's something you always got to re be reminded when using a pen. Like, it's meant to record stories, not write them, especially after you've kind of already written kind of two stories of your own. It's like... What, what would this one be like you have to be careful with it um two other things i forgot to mention one freaking peter pan pops i was like because i saw robbie ak's name i was like what robbie oh, oh uh, uh, peter pan's in this episode just for a little bit and it's just kind of like well yeah because obviously rumple like it was it's just kind of interesting thing i mean to be fair he kind of killed his dad at the end of season three i mean it was more kind of like a Mutual destruction the situation. I mean, the last time we saw Rumpel, I mean, um, Peter Pan was in season five. He was in the underworld, um, which is interesting because the other character, uh, well, Coella was in that same situation. It's kind of interesting. But nevertheless, um, I love that the whole just kind of like just him popping up like that. It's like, oh, yeah, this Rumpel isn't to be messed with. He doesn't forgive or forget. So and also Cruella being an ally, which is interesting. Like, why specifically her? Like, she's kind of like the guard dog there and stuff like that. I love that her and Henry had a duel. I also appreciate the fact that she's like, oh, like, kind of talking about, um, what was it kind of at making, um, 
Henry her chew toy and everything, and it's like, whoa, no, 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 no. And her and Henry Dorbridge is like, wow, Cruella's pretty damn good with a sword. Wasn't expecting that, but still. And there was also the situation with her hair, which obviously he used his ink. I was like, oh, yeah, there's one more ingredient. I was like, what the hell is that about? So I looked it up because I completely forgotten about this. Apparently, the reason why she has the black streak is because the ink he uses for the um, Isaac, the ink he had used, had spilled on her hair, like, you know, in her backstory. And it's like, oh, OK, because I completely forgotten about that. So I had to make sure to look that up. Um, so I'd, I'd completely forgotten about that aspect. I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, does it need a specific ingredient? It's like, no, because that's ink in her hair. So I was like, wow, that's interesting. Interesting. Like I said, the last time we saw her was um, in um, the Underworld too. So it's like it's three familiar characters. Like, like I said, they're bringing certain characters back. So I thought that's kind of a nice thing. While at the same time, we had the whole situation where it's like I get like I kind of caught glimpses of stuff that makes me go, okay, like the same thing's going to apply. Especially how the episode ends uh, implies that we're going to see a lot more familiar characters in the next episode too. But lo and behold, Henry tries to use the pen, and it's like, nope, Rumple got it. But who is he using it for? Henry, Wish Realm Henry, I'm like, oh my god, even he says, plot twist, I'm like, such a good plot twist, once again, it's that aspect of the Wish Realm people matter, it's even something Hook said, he's like, hey, I'm just as real as any of you guys, like, the fact of the matter is, we were all created in some shape or form, it's like, well, yeah, that's a very existential, like, like, statement to make in this regard, but it's so interesting, it seems like, because basically this Wish Henry Never had the same life as the other Henry because he tried to do things the right way. But Rumpel was like, hey, are you going? I could give you a happy ending. I could give you a happy. I could give you a, a beginning, middle and happily ever after ending. But he, you know, he was trying to no, 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 because I know it'll come with a deal. Even so, at the beginning, he was trying to save him. I was like, oh, is this Wish Room, Henry? I was like, no, 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 because it's like, oh, yeah, I'm Rumpel from the Wish Room. The fact is, he said that made me go, oh, that's not him. That's got to be. Oh, so this is real Henry. Then I was like, oh, it must be. And it's like, no, 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 it is Wish Room. Um, realm henry um he tried to save a princess from a dragon but another dude stepped in and saved her and it's like oh my god oh thanks for coming from to my support I was, he's like the little brother i never had it's like oh poor henry that's so soul crushing because in in his life nothing ever happened to him i guess you can i guess you can make the argument because henry's because things didn't go well in any other charming's life that they didn't have this perfectly happily ever after they struggled they fought for their happiness that it just kind of worked like they got to where they are this realm it's like everything kind of worked out for them because of a wish like they never really you know so uh, there's that give and take but it's also just kind of like because they had to fight for their happiness they learned the right way to go about things which to be fair what him is about to do was going to be catastrophic because obviously there were going to be consequences for him doing what he did i think he's kind of lucky that the other uh rumple ended up stopping him but still it's for him he's like he's never had the life and he wants one so he made a deal with rumple it's like you know rumple can't be trusted everyone's trying to tell him but he doesn't want to listen because he wants his happily ever after because for one he also wants revenge too because it's like oh yeah not only did you kill my grandparents which even regina's like i and it's like you can't get away from that once again it's because you thought it was a uh, it's like oh this is a wish realm so nothing i ditched that's why she did it to show him like oh it doesn't matter but that's what i'm talking about they made it matter and it's like i should have figured but it never crossed my mind to think about that because I mean, because a wish realm isn't something we've ever really I, will ever get to explore, but obviously these bits and pieces here and there. But it's just, it's just fascinating that it kind of comes full circle, and it and it sucks in Regina's case because once again, it's like when she originally went to the wish realm last season, it's kind of like oh yeah, like her son is her enemy, and now he's even more so an enemy because it's like oh you killed my uh, parents, my grandparents, and you took my mom away. It's like well technically she's not your mom, so which makes you wonder. I mean, to be fair, Emma fit that role, but maybe somewhere out there, there is kind of a wish Emma, Emma to fill that role. Maybe not. I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. So it is about getting a happily ever after while also getting his revenge, which if anything, the show, share, uh, show has showed you, revenge never is the answer. I also love that at the beginning. It's like, oh, how do we, it's like, oh, maybe we should give him the dagger. It's like, no, we ne we don't negotiate with villains. What do we do? We kick their asses is what Regina said. And even Henry's like, well, we can probably just start using that as like a family slogan. I'm like, that's so good. I it's like, Regina's so awesome. I also appreciate the fact this that um still calling her Ronnie. It's still I guess it's kind of still in that same realm of like how like, oh yeah, Prince Charming, it's like he was named David. Well, his curse name's David, but that's also because his real enchanted uh forest name was also 
gave it two. So is it that it's that kind of situation? Just kind of like I mean, even but they never really refer to Snow White as that. I mean, because Snow White is just like they never really called her. Oh, Maid Marian is not Maid Marian. Um, God, what was Snow's fake name? Her curse name wasn't it Mary? Was it? I'm blinking. Nevertheless, um, so interesting turn of events. All at the same time, like, also what's interesting, too, is the Guardian powers were kind of destroyed, so Alice doesn't have her powers as a Guardian anymore, which begs a question, like, there is no potential happily ever after for um, Rumpel, but I, I don't think so. I think once Rumpel, it might end up being something, because of that, that whole prophecy, it will be your undoing. I think in the end, helping Henry, Henry might be the key to actually getting, it's like your undoing in a good way of being like, oh, he's the reason you're able to get to Belle. You know, maybe actually caring about him as your grandson, you know, what he instilled in you to put your family first, maybe that's going to, what helps in the long run. I don't know. Uh, but we have Alice and uh, Robin going off to help because i also appreciate too because like you had uh sabine's whole situation of like yeah she felt like she didn't know who she was it's like am i sabine uh, am i a tiana a queen it's like she never had to worry about those responsibilities as sabine but now it's like who who am i you know that struggle of like oh now that i have both my memories like what, what do i do about it but drew slash naveen kind of reminder it's like no matter who you are or who you want to be you always be that queen who like you know i respect and the queen who saved me you know so uh, accompanied by uh, the food truck, we see Robin and Alice going off to save their friends and family. And uh, but before that, they have to take a trip somewhere. Storybrooke. I'm like, yes. Hence why I was saying like, oh, we're definitely going to see some familiar faces next episode. It is going to be crazy because next week's episode is, in fact, the series finale. Because I was going uh, last week, I assumed that it was going to be like a two-hour finale thing, like back-to-back -back episodes, kind of like what they did with the final battle last season. But no, it turned out to be like an episode. But well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, like I said, even then, like I said, I am sad to see the series go. I would want more. I mean, that's just kind of any series, but also because I kind of feel like there was potentially set up for more. There's so much they could do. But at the same time, I'm very interested to see how they played us all. I, I'm still going into this being happy of like, I know they're going to do a good job. They've done a great job wrapping up the series so far, and I know they're going to do a great job uh, bringing it all home in the finale next week. So I am so excited to see how this great series comes to an end. But really, that's all I want to talk about in this episode. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.